Before baby alien would have his life changed after he sat down on the fan bus and memes of his reaction would go viral all over the internet. Before baby alien would lose his V card at the age of 23 and then enter into a committed relationship with his partner, Ari Electra. No way. Yeah. I need that every day, you feel me? No way. How was I was gonna let that get away. Before Baby Alien would have nearly 700,000 followers over on Instagram. In researching this video, well, we found out a lot about Baby Alien, including his real name, his mugshot, and his SoundCloud account, where, uh, well, he only featured a few Kodak Black tracks. Now, we also found a lot of his old clips before he was on the fan bus, so essentially before he became famous. Now, based off one of the many early videos we found, we're guessing that Yeb Deal is actually from Puerto Rico, as he sports the flag and the emoji in a number of his earlier vids. Now, as for his condition, because you gotta be asking what's going on here, well, we believe it to be Seckel syndrome. Now, this is a rare genetic condition which results in slow growth before birth, resulting in a low birth weight. From there, the slow growth, well, it continues after birth and it results in short height. Now, some features of Seckel syndrome, they're a small head, and for some, it can result in an intellectual disability. Now, I'm not saying that's the case with Baby Alien. I'm just telling you what I found on Google. I mean, this guy, he's given Hasbulla a run for his money. He's the next big star. Now, to find out more about Baby Alien and his come up with his new girlfriend, Ari Electra, well, be sure to stay tuned to this episode of Before They Are Famous. I'm your boy, Michael McCrudden. Be sure to give us a follow with Before They Are Famous wherever you watch these videos. We're on Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, YouTube, Rumble. We're everywhere. So give us a follow, and I'll see you guys after the intro. Do we still do those? I don't know. Let's roll a clip. Baby Alien, he was born Yebdil Kato, and that is according to his Instagram page, but we also found his mugshot, where it again states Yebdil Koto, and there is a birthday listed as November 24th, 1999. Now, regarding the mugshot, well, he was arrested in Palm Beach, Florida for possession of marijuana, over 20 grams, and for carrying drug paraphernalia. Now, no shocker there. I mean, after watching some of his older videos, guy likes his stuff, you know? Now it appears that English, it is his second language and whether he was born in the United States or not, well, he's certainly an American citizen. Now, although he has had some problems with authorities because, uh, well, they believe him to be an actual alien. Now, he's also made friends with the right people in the right places. Now, some of these friends of his out in Miami, they got nice cars, they got mansions. I'm telling you, he's like Hasbulla, but of a Miami and the kid's taken over. Now, previous to hooking up with the fan bus, well, there was little activity from Baby Alien online. Now, he did have a SoundCloud page, but he released no music. He did drop uh, some rap or attempting to rap over on Instagram, but no music from himself. He just really likes Kodak Black. All right, let's get to the part you all want to know about, Baby Alien and how the hell he got on the fan bus. So he first appeared on the fan bus on August 13th of 2023, and this time he sat next to a girl known as Teen Jade. Now his appearance on the show, it brought in so much attention that he went from being like a sidekick character to getting his own interview, and this time, well, he actually got pretty honest as he opened up about being a virgin. <gasps> Wait, you're a virgin? Yeah. No way. Yeah, I'm, I'm a virgin. Yeah, you know, you gotta be, it was pretty sentimental. The guy was, uh, he was bearing his heart to the world, revealing that at the age of 23 years old, well, he was still holding on to his V card. I mean, no lady would give him a chance. So the fan bus decided to reach out to their community with a comment that reads, someone gotta give him a chance. And uh, well, it didn't take long for them to line up a lady who was ready to, uh, to get the deed done. And when he found out he was gonna lose his V card, well, his reaction was priceless. Now it didn't take the fan bus long for them to find a girl interested in meeting baby alien. One girl even made a video for them asking to be the girl. Now, obviously we're not gonna play you the, uh, the actual D, that's not what we do here. I have heard from uh, some Reddit forums and whatnot, it's quite the show. Now in a follow-up interview with Baby Alien, he was given a 10 out of 10 for his performance, and the guy even broke out in song. Yeah, he sang a little bit of Aladdin. That movie's a classic. I mean, he was born in 1999, I think that came out in 1994. But uh, yeah, who hasn't seen it? Not the Will Smith one, right? Ari Electra, well, no, she was previously in an eight month relationship with a guy that she said was actually boring. So Baby Alien, he might be the type of excitement that she's actually looking for. 
Now the two soon after, will they return to the fan bus where they announced that they're now in a committed relationship. Listen to what baby alien had to say. I need that. <laughs> Now them hooking up, it hasn't just been for views, but the two actually seem to have some sort of real world connection. I mean, they haven't posted much about like their relationship on Instagram, but there is this one video. We wish these two lovebirds a lifetime of happiness, but do you think this relationship will last the test of time? Huh, you're gonna have to let me know in the comments down below. Baby Alien or Ari Electra, if you're watching this video, hit us up on Instagram. We'd love to put together a before they're famous video for you guys. My name is Michael McCrudden. I'll see you guys in another video. This is a good one, man. Eh? You don't get a guy like him every day. Congrats. Bye. Boom!